Hey everybody, it's Monkey Farm, and this is kind of a follow-up video to my How to Edit Your Texture Pack video uh, from a long time ago. Uh, as you know, a lot of you guys have downloaded my customized terrain.png file that I use with the John Smith Texture Pack, and uh, so the reason I'm doing an update video is that uh, there have been a lot of changes to the pack, and I've been getting a lot of questions from people saying, uh, that my terrain file was no longer working correctly or some of the textures weren't showing up and I'm going to go through uh, the reason that's happening and uh, give you a new link. It's, it's going to be the same link, it's just an updated image file but I'm going to show you inside the pack a little bit some of the changes and how you can fix uh, the problems that you're having. Um, so if you uh, if you notice the torches here, they have an animation. Now John Smith Texture Pack has done a lot of animation additions that uh, are normally not in the game. Like uh, the torches, obviously, uh, fire has a uh, a little bit different animation. Um, let's see, I have a pumpkin here or a jack o' lantern. You can see the jack o' lantern is uh, kind of glowing you know brighter and darker uh, so what they've done is basically you know customized some of the blocks to change they uh, they did the glowstone as well but what I've done is actually decided not to use the animation in the glowstone so what I'm gonna do real quick is go into the John Smith texture pack and show you uh, the different files and the different changes that they've made and how you can uh, tweak the pack to work uh, the way you want it to and uh, let's head over there now Okay, so what you need to do first is obviously open up your texture pack folder. You can do that from Minecraft. Uh, just click texture packs and click uh, open texture pack folder. And then open up the zip file for the texture pack that you are uh, looking at. It will probably be John Smith if you're using my terrain file because uh, that's the one that I, uh, that I use this with. Um, so what you'll notice in the main folder here, the zip folder, um, there are a bunch of different image files that have been added that normally aren't in a pack and these are the custom fire, custom lava, custom terrain, you know a bunch of different terrain files with numbers after them and these are actually the animation files. You'll see uh, basically it's a repetition of a block. Here's the diamond block. Uh, they've made the diamond gem kind of glimmer or have a flickering kind of light thing. Uh, so that's that file. Let's see, the glowstone. Here's the John Smith glowstone. You'll notice that it's different than mine. Um, and what they've done to this is made it look like the glowstone is like a lantern that's kind of flickering in light or has a light flickering in it. Uh, let's see, here's the pumpkin one or the jack-o'-lantern. So uh, here's the terrain file. Uh, this is not my custom one. Uh, this is the original one. But uh, what you'll notice is that there's a glowstone here and a, and a jack-o'-lantern here. Uh, however, all of these animation files right here, they override whatever is in the normal terrain file. Okay, So that's the reason why the glowstone which is different in my pack uh, was still looking like this when uh, when I've I've gotten a lot of uh, messages saying you know I still have the normal John Smith glowstone and not yours so that's the reason why so basically if you uh, want to use my glowstone uh, the one that's in the terrain file you just delete um, that image file for the glowstone. If you don't want the the diamonds to flicker, you just delete that file, and uh, that's how you get it to work. Um, I am thinking about customizing the glowstone image uh, because I don't like that glowstone that's in the new pack, and the only way that I'm going to get my glowstone to flicker or have a you know like a, a lantern look to it is to uh, is to update every single image in that little animation file. Let's see, uh, I already deleted it. So anyway, I'd have to I'd have to slightly alter each one of these images to change the lighting, you know, to make it look like it's flickering. So I'm not sure it's really worth that much effort. Uh, I don't I don't care that the glowstone flickers. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. But anyway, uh, for those of you that are using my terrain file, um, that is the reason why some of the blocks were not working and that's how you fix them if you want them to 
use whatever's in my terrain file rather than the animation files that uh, that John Smith now provides in the pack. So I hope that clears everything up. I'd, I'd been getting a lot of messages. It must have just uploaded or updated in the past week or two because uh, I, I just started getting a lot of questions about it so I had to look into it and that was the reason why so anyway uh, I hope that helps there will be still a link in the description to my most recent terrain file um, and it is up to date all the way up to the recent snapshots that have the jungles in it so uh, you'll have the jungle trees and everything from my terrain file so there you go I hope that helps and we'll talk to you guys later